Hey developers, let's take a look at Aurelia and what we can do with Webpack. So the other day I was trying to figure out how to get Webpack working with Aurelia. And I was looking around and I noticed, of course, that the Aurelia skeleton navigation, if you don't know about this, Aurelia has a number of skeleton files, which are just Git repositories that you can clone and start off with for your own web apps. And one of them is the, they have two of them. They have a skeleton for ESS Next Webpack and also for TypeScript for Webpack. And if you go into the Webpack, ES Next Webpack one, you can see that it has quite a few dependencies. I mean, this is well thought out. There's uh, quite a few things here in the use Babel. And I wanted something a little simpler to use with Aurelia. So I did a few searching. I found a couple of really great blogs. So I'll link one of them in down in the description. But this is, uh, I found a, a real easy way of just starting from scratch, creating your Aurelia project using Webpack. And of course, as things go, uh, time goes on, you can go in and use Webpack and install more dependencies, things like that. I'm not an expert in Webpack by any stretch of the imagination, but this seems pretty logical. So I'll go by it uh, step by step. So the first thing we need to do is we have, let's go ahead and create a directory here. So we'll go, we'll create it called Aurelia Webpack. And we'll change directories into it. And you can see it's empty. So I'm going to do an npm init. And we're just going to hit enter all the way through. And by the way, I'll include a link to the GitHub repository in the description below. So that looks fine. All right, so now the package.json file is created. So now we have, uh, of course, it's empty. So we have a number of dependencies that we need to install. I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste it here. So some of the most important ones is the Relia Webpack plugin. That is what the developers or creators of Aurelia created for um, for Webpack, and then we include Babel because we want to do our transpiling and do ES6 stuff. And then we have something called HTML Loader and HTML Webpack, and those will help us with uh, the plugins and loading stuff inside Webpack. And then, of course, we have Webpack and Webpack Dev Server. And we're going to save this as a dependency, a development dependency. And so we'll just give that a mint to install. Okay, great. It went ahead and installed everything. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to do our normal dependencies. So I'm going to copy and paste those. And you can see there's quite a few of them. Once again, we have uh, Aurelia Bootstrapper Webpack, which is something that we're going to need. And that was created by Aurelia to for Webpack. And we need the framework. If you remember the JSPM, I'll include that in the description below when we did it that way. We only needed the bootstrapper and the framework. Unfortunately, with the Webpack, it needs these other dependencies to work. It just won't work without it. I tried it. So you need the Aurelia event aggregator, the history browser, the loader of the Webpack, the logging console, the templating resources and router and all that. So we do dash dash save, and remember when you do dash dash save, it saves it into the package.json so we can use it later as a dependency. So let's hit enter and it'll take a minute to load. Okie doke. Okay, so if we look in our package.json, now we have all the de development dependencies and the dependencies we just added, which is perfect. And they're all installed in the node modules. So now we need to make sure that we go ahead and we add our Babel RC. Now, if you don't remember, Babel or Babel change the way they do things. If you look here, If you want to do ES 2015 presets, you have to create this file, um, this Babel RC file. It's recommended. Let's see if you can see that there. So you just have to make sure that this file is there, and then you can put the preset in. So let's do that. Oh, 
Okay. It's in there. All right. So let's go ahead and create an index.html. We're going to create the webpack config in a second, but before we do that, we just just create a normal webpack or index HTML file. And the most important thing, remember with Aurelia, is this Aurelia-app main. It's going to look for something called main in our source folder. And that is the Aurelia webpack tool is going to go ahead and do that. And I just put it in any kind of tile here. I'll call it hello. Hello world. Aurelia. Okay, and now we're going to create our webpack.config.js file. And once again, I'm going to copy and paste this here, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so at the top, and like I said, this is going to be in a github repository and you can see the description below to look at it in more detail but you of course need the Aurelia webpack plugin we have to this is our variables we have to have a path webpack html webpack plugin that's one of the dependencies the development dependencies we installed and then for the entry port point since we're using the Aurelia webpack we actually don't need to actually put the actual exact entry point in here that's kind of done for us then we need to put in all the different dependencies that we can have here. And then we put in kind of where the build is, how we're going to build it. We have these loaders. That's part of that HTML loader. And the, oh, well, this is the Babel one. And then we use the web webpack. And then right at the end, we put in the port. Like I said, I'm not an expert in webpack, but this seems pretty straightforward what it's doing. So we're going to save that. And now we're going to go ahead and create a directory called source. And we're going to create a directory called app. So first we're going to create a main.js file. Now for, from this point on, it's, this is basically just normal. Uh, this is pretty much just normal Aurelia stuff here. So give me a second. I want to copy and paste some stuff in here. And this is just telling us to configure Aurelia, to start it. It's going to look in this app folder. That's going to be our root. And if we go into app, we're going to have two files here. We're going to have an app.html, which now we're just using the templating stuff. One sec. And then we're going to have an app.js file. And I'm going to copy and paste some more stuff here. OK. You can see here, it's pretty straightforward. We just have, this is our directory structure. We have the node modules, which is everything we installed. We have our package JSON, our index HTML, the webpack config, and then the source, we have the main. And then app.js or app.html. If we save this, now we have the app.js file here. So that's it. So let's go ahead and give this a shot, see if we can get this working. So we'll just run webpack first. And that will go ahead and build it for us inside the build folder. All right, looks like it built everything for us. So we can go to build here. And it says the index.html and script. So I can run something called HTTP. I actually installed this NPM package globally. It's called HTTP server. And I can put a dot here and then put a port. So I'm just put port 3000 to see if it works. Localhost 3000. Okay, there it is. Does this work? Hello. So it looks like it works. Perfect. And you can also 
if you want, since we did install it, you can run HTTP oops, webpack dev server dash dash progress dash dash colors because we like to see nice colors and it should build everything for us again and create it and we did set it to 3000 so we'll refresh it <clears throat> still works yep everything seems to work still so <clears throat> thank you for watching this video. This is just a quick example of how to use Aurelia and Webpack without using the skeleton. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and please subscribe and take care.